Right now, about one in four foster children in the state of South Carolina's custody are living with a relative who is not their parent or a family friend. This is called kinship care, but these families don't necessarily get the same help as foster families. State House reporter Mary Green explains how new bipartisan legislation could change that. Our child came to us temporarily originally and we anticipated it being that way temporary and within a couple of few months we realized it's not temporary. Daryl McCulley spoke about his experience as a kinship caregiver for his grandchild to a state senate panel this week. He's advocating for them to pass a bill he believes would help more South Carolina kinship caregivers and the children for whom they care. Considering uh, child outcomes are typically better when placed with kin, why wouldn't we support doing the same for kinship care as we do for foster care. The proposed program is designed to support permanent placements of kids and teens with people they already know, getting them out of the foster system forever. It's really important when these kids have trauma for them to be able to begin that healing process and that's best done with family and friends that they know. The bill would provide kinship caregivers with more legal authority to care for children, which they say would make processes like obtaining birth certificates easier. These kids come to people in the middle of the night, literally come to a grandparent or a family member in the middle of the night with, you know, whatever's on their back and they have no help to make these things happen. The legislation would also establish a kin gap program, allowing kinship caregivers to receive financial assistance similar to what foster families get from the government. A legislative estimate says the federal government can give South Carolina about half a million dollars next year for this, while the state would also have to put in about $1.2 million of its own money. South Carolina is one of just 10 states that hasn't tapped into this federal funding, though it's been around for about a decade. McCulley says this bill would especially help grandparents and older relatives living on fixed incomes. They don't want to let the child go into foster care because it's a child, you know, it's a family member and so on, and they want to take care of the child, if they do that, they today may not have any financial support and they're already struggling. This bill will next be considered in the Senate Family and Veterans Services Committee next Wednesday after advancing out of a subcommittee this week. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. State leaders have been working in recent years to expand and support foster care and kinship care in South Carolina. Last year, the legislature widened kinship care to also include people who are not related to the child, but with whom they share a significant relationship like a family friend or a neighbor.